what? So let's th the first conversation I want to have with you was that fasting is something we have in common with the previous nation. But why do we fast? Why do we fast? Is also the same. Why they fasted was to get taqwa, why we fast is also to get taqwa. I want to talk to you practically, what does that mean? Taqwa is, you know, the, the, people translate that as the fear of Allah. Taqwa comes from the word wiqaya. Wiqaya actually means protection. Taqwa is similar to ittiqa, to seek protection, to try to protect yourself. That's why on judgment day, on judgment day, everybody will try to protect themselves. Allah says, Allah gave you fasting so you can protect yourself. And what does that mean? Let's, let's try to understand what that means. Human beings, us, we have certain training. You have to go through training if you want to get good at something. Especially physical training. Like if somebody is, they want to become a soldier, or they want to become a police officer, then they have to go through certain kinds of training. And their body learns to adapt. Like at, at the beginning it's hard, and then it gets easier and easier and easier for them. Right? And this idea of training, putting yourself in difficulty, it helps you in not... Well, by the way, when you're in training, things are easy. When you're in the training program, things are easy. Like for example, when they train firemen, they set up a fire to put it out, but they control the fire. It's not like a real fire in a building. It's controlled, so it's easier. They make you jump down a building, but it's easier. It's not like the real thing. They go easy on you, and then they, when you get good enough, then they put you in the real life situation. You understand that, right? Now the same thing happens with fasting. Fasting, you're constantly feeling something, aren't you? Especially in Qatar. Especially in the Khalij. You're constantly feeling thirst. You're constantly feeling hunger. There is not a minute that goes by that you're not feeling it. Your, your throat is fighting with you. Your lungs are fighting with you. Your, your throat is yelling at you and saying, Give me water, give me water, give me water. Whether you like it or not, your throat is begging you. And you tell your throat, Shut up throat, it's not maghrib yet. Your stomach starts talking to you, sometimes very loudly. Hey man, come on, what's going on up there? Where's the supply, <laughs> you know? And you're like, it's fajr dude, you, are you starting already? You know, you have a conversation with yourself. But you know what, there's a war going on inside you when you're fasting. There's a war, physical war going on inside you. Your throat is against you, your stomach is against you. Your body is getting weaker and begging you, please disobey Allah, please disobey Allah. And you stay the entire day fasting, fighting your body and you say, no, my heart is submitted to Allah, and therefore I don't care if my entire body wants something, I will not give it to it. That's what I do when I fast. Why is that important? Because when the fasting is over, you have to continue to train your... Now your heart is ready to control your body. So you're not just gonna eat what you want. You're not just gonna go where you want. You're not just gonna look at what you want. Because all of those things your body wants. But who has gotten stronger and when you fast? The body got weaker and who got stronger? The heart got stronger. And where does taqwa rest? In ذَلِكَ مِنْ تَقْوَى الْقُلُوبِ The heart is the place of taqwa. If we don't remember this, then we become just like Banu Israel. They fasted, but they didn't have what? They didn't have taqwa. Man, they didn't have taqwa, but they fasted. تكلم والشجرة مني سيف الهم تراه استل سيف الهم تراه استل